Here's another question I received from one of our viewers. They wanted to know how many different ways you could lay out a gambrel roof. And in my opinion, they're almost endless. So let's go ahead and get started with the easiest way possible. And that would be to just simply use a ratio that you're familiar with, like a 12 and 12 and a 4 and 12, and just kind of go and you can start from the center, or you could move this over in either direction to build your roof. And another example of that would be something like this, where we change the roof pitch ratios but left this intersecting point in the center or one fourth of the overall span. We have four five foot increments or we can change it. I can come in six feet and then four feet, four feet and then six feet and use the same ratios. But this really isn't looking like a gamble roof, is it? where an architect or designer might use half of a circle. This is more of a common gambrel roof template. And in this example, we're using four segments that are the same measurements across the span. And that would provide us with a finished roof that would look something like this, with 60 degree angles on each side, and 15 degree angles up here. And keep in mind that these ratios might not work out in one inch increments on your framing square. You might be dealing with a three and a half inch and 11 and a half inch ratio. Another way would be to keep the same half circle, but split this up into six segments over the entire span or three from the center, and then move this line over to create a roof that would look like this. And if you don't like this one, then let's go ahead and split it up into 10 segments, two feet each, or five segments from the center to the outside to create this design here. And we don't have to stop here. We can use these same increments and move the line over. However, this isn't gonna be that much different than the one we did where we have a five foot increment on each side because now we're gonna have six feet on this side and four feet on this side to provide us with another roof that might not look like a true gambrel roof. And in our last example, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the other side to create a roof like this. And you can divide this up into a variety of different numbers and even forget about using the circle here. Or you can forget about what I just said and put this measurement wherever you want to. You don't need to divide it up into any increments. They don't need to be even. You can just simply pick a number that will work for you and use it on both sides or change things up a little bit and create a roof with different measurements like we did here. So this isn't a bad looking roof. And for those of you who need to design something different, then here you go. Or at the very least, now you have a place to start.